a sunny day in Clacton. The Tories would rather wish they weren't here. First, their MP Douglas Carswell defected to UKIP. Then today, Boris Johnson can't recall their new candidate's name. We've got a fantastic guy called... Oh, he's, he's, he's a superb man. Sterling, Girling, something like that. What's he called? He's a... You tell Giles. me. Giles. <laughs> Come on, what is it again? Giles Watling. Giles Watling, that's right. Well, I knew it. I knew it. Some, some, on, something to do with Ling. <laughs> anyway, Tingling. Giles Watling. Okay. Giles Tingling Watling. At Watling's HQ, the roll call of Tory MPs campaigning against their former colleague Douglas Carswell is pretty short. Unlike yeah. Newark this summer, when every MP was ordered to go three and times. Yeah. But today, we got Tory chief whips, old and new. But why aren't they required to come three times like they were in Newark? Um, we're doing our best to make sure that we can have a, uh, an, a warm, inclusive and celebratory approach to the campaign. And that means that we encourage people to come. People um, say you've written it off. By, by giving them a good welcome. People say you've written it off. I haven't written anything off, Michael. That's why I'm here. Michael, we're putting a lot into Discipline's this. Discipline's looking... falling apart, isn't it? The whole, the whole thing has gone terribly yeah, lax. I'm really looking forward MPs to defecting, a... don't have to come to by-elections. Michael, I'm really looking forward to a hard-working morning on the seafront in Clacton. Drumming... The Tories' big hope is they'll pick the up like Labour like voters Thank who want to stop UKIP. So Labour's Tim Young could get hammered. Or worse. They claim their campaign is serious, despite spending just a fraction of what they're allowed to. It's not a question of money, it's a question of actually talking to people, listening to their concerns and coming forward with a response. Oh, here she comes. Andy Graham makes no claims he'll win here either. His Liberal Democrats seem to be just one fun-loving party. We've had a fun time and we're doing our best to get as many votes as we can. In the 60s, a student prank with hoax flying saucers made a name for the green contender here. Put this flying saucer back on its feet again. Now, one of the saucers keeps the hens amused at Chris Southall's local eco house, from where he plans to harvest Lib Dem protest votes. No Clacton contender is dull, not even Douglas Carswell, with whom we caught up in Frinton among the lunchtime cafe crowd. I've always been a Conservative supporter, so uh, I had no reason really to look at UKIP. They're a bit scary, in my opinion. Scary? Yeah. What's yeah. scary about them? Uh, I think the reputation, probably, but whether that's justified now, I, I, I don't know, really. Do you find Mr Carswell scary? Um, no, I don't think so, no. We're just heading up this way, if you want to come. But taking a brisk stroll, the former Tory showed he's no born campaigner. Beyond the odd hello, he stopped to speak to barely anyone. He just comes past you, says hello, and then walks on. Yes, yes I thought that was a bit off, really. You weren't young enough. <laughs> you weren't young enough? No. Well, you're young enough for me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You're <laughs> very kind. You're very kind. But it's a bit strange, isn't it? He just walks straight by, briskly. Well, perhaps he thought that we wouldn't vote for him or something. Would you? Um, yes. no. Why not? Oh, is it, is it Douglas? Yes. I didn't even know who it was. <laughs> yes, I would. You could. Definitely. Would. Yes, yes, would. Even though he uh, walked straight by, we'll just said hello. Well, yes, but he's got lots of ladies to please, hasn't he? And Thank men so too, much. no doubt. For all the signs are that this stretch of Essex seaside is about to make political history.